If you want a gaming mouse that's really different, then maybe this one's for you. It's the Cooler Master MM720. It's a $50 ultra lightweight gaming mouse that has a really unique shape. Let's check it out. With the mouse, they give you some optional grips that you can stick on the sides if you want to. There's a little booklet with some specs, button layout, and warranty info, and a package with some extra PTFE feet. We need to start this review by talking about this shape, and we're gonna get to build quality and performance in just a minute. So the MM720 takes on a shape that was developed by Cooler Master for a mouse called the Storm Spawn, and it's actually from quite a while ago. By widening out the body, they've created a spot to rest your ring finger, and if you palm grip, this makes a really comfortable position for your hand and fingers, giving you way more support than any traditional mouse design. But there's one big problem as far as I'm concerned, and it's that it only seems to work with a palm grip. When you try and fingertip or claw grip it, it kinda just becomes an uncomfortable mess. So right away, if you're not a palm gripper, then I think you should be looking at other mice. Overall, it's a pretty small mouse. The dimensions are 105 millimeters long, 77 millimeters wide, and about 37 millimeters high. And it's insanely lightweight at just 50 grams, which is awesome, but that's achieved by using a very thin plastic honeycomb build. Overall, it's secure. You can't hear anything moving or rattling inside, but the shell's definitely not as strong as other mice that use this honeycomb design. If I squeeze the back of it, I can actually feel the frame bending and deforming under my fingers, and I don't really have to squeeze all that hard to get it to do that right here on the side where the honeycombs are. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of people game by squeezing the crap out of the back of their mouse, so that's probably not the biggest deal. But I do think it's worth mentioning, because I do that test on every mouse that I review, and this one definitely has the most flex in its build. The side buttons are pretty easy to reach and press, but they do seem to have a little bit more travel than I'm used to. The scroll wheel's nice and grippy, and it's very loose and easy easy to move. I actually would have liked a little bit more tension here, and it does provide some tactile bumps as you scroll. The MM720 is equipped with optical switches in the left and right clicks that virtually eliminate debounce time and result in a really good durability rating of about 70 million clicks. It's equipped with a Pixart 3389 optical sensor with 16,000 DPI, 400 IPS tracking speed, and 50G acceleration. And this is actually a really good gaming grade sensor that you can find in a lot of high performance mice. On the bottom, there's some white PTFE feet and they perform pretty well, helping the MM720 glide around smoothly. And like I mentioned before, the mouse does come with some extra feet, so you can easily replace these when they start to wear down over time. Cooler Master calls this cable Ultra Weave. It's 1.8 meters long and it's really soft and flexible and lightweight and just low drag, low friction, so you don't really notice it when it's dragging across your desk. Now, I was really impressed with Cooler Master's cables back when I tested their MM710 gaming mouse, but this one here on the MM720 actually takes it to a whole new level. Using a bungee is always a great option, but with this cable, I can't imagine you'd notice all that much of a difference if you didn't use one. So, um, and that's only true if there's nothing on your desk for it to get caught on, so keep that in mind. Now this thing's definitely got the hardware under the hood to deliver some top tier gaming performance. You know, it's got that excellent sensor and those optical switches that are nice, crisp, and responsive. But for me personally, I just could not get used to this shape no matter what I did and how long I played with it or tried to adjust my play style or anything like that. It just did not work for me. Like I said, I really believe this is for palm grippers and I happen to favor um, a fingertip or a claw grip and there's just not much I can do about that. But it's not just that, it's also just too wide for me. It feels too wide for my hand and it's just uncomfortable. I would prefer a narrower mouse that's a lot easier to hold on to. So while my aim was terrible with the MM720, I really can't say there's anything on the mouse itself that's responsible for that as far as the hardware and electronics go. Again, the 3389 is an excellent performing sensor that does a great job tracking on a variety of different surfaces. The switches are crisp and responsive and the low weight of the mouse and the low drag of the cable offer a whole lot of potential for anyone that can game with this particular design. Unfortunately, I'm just not one of those people. Cooler Master's master software allows you to configure the buttons and reprogram them if you want to. The performance tab has all your DPI settings, polling rate, liftoff distance controls, and stuff like that. And it's also got a surface tuning utility. And then you've got your lighting controls with a few preset effects, a macro editor, and some custom profiles. 
So the MM720 is a really uniquely designed mouse that I think is going to appeal to a really unique type of gamer. I think those gamers are palm grippers that prefer wider mice and like the idea of having a dedicated finger rest. That might sound pretty specific, but look at this mouse. It's a really specific and unique design, so I think that makes sense. But one thing I really want to stress is that at the $50 price point that this mouse is at, it definitely has the specs to deliver top tier performance. So you're getting what you pay for at that price point. So Cooler Master priced it properly. And I think that's the important thing here. So if you think that this mouse might work for you, definitely give it a shot. I'm gonna put the purchasing links down in the description. And if you do pick it up, this is one that I definitely want you to comment down below and tell us what you think about this design and whether or not it's working for you. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming content. And we'll see ya.